Heads up, campers. Creekwater Cody coming at you with uh, the latest video on the little series we've been working on here about a bug out shelter. Uh, as you can see, I'm not at the bug out location. Uh, I went out, if you guys have been following it, set up just an expedient shelter since then. Been using uh, things from a bug out bag and whatnot to uh, try to nice it up. One thing that uh, we're going to discuss today is a uh, survival cache. Uh, good stash. Now this one in particular is set up as a shelter kit. But keep in mind, you can take this cash concept, this, uh, this stash, uh, set it up for anything. You can set it up for ammunition, food, just general bug out stuff, you got medical kits. The thing is to uh, buried treasure. Obviously, this didn't come out of the ground. This is TV magic simulation. Uh, this is not one of my actual caches. I wanted to uh, put one together for the purposes of the videos. But what I did was take a five gallon bucket. You want to get one that has a seal. Uh, you take a rubber mallet or something, slam it shut, maybe even duct tape it. Take it out somewhere that uh, would be convenient, but away from home, away from your bug out location. That you could access it, you know, say I was in a bug out scenario. I've been at back at the shelter, uh, decided I could make it to my, safely to my cache. So I'd head over to wherever this thing was stashed. I'd, Go dig up the treasure. Uh, like I said, I set this one up specifically for shelter building. We're going to use it later on in the series to really hook that shelter up. As you can see, I can hardly get this thing open. <laughs> I reckon it's got a good seal. There we go. All right. The first thing I did, y'all know I'm a nerd. I love writing lists. I put a contents in here, the old redneck lamination, the uh, Ziploc bag. But inside this thing, you know, if I was to bury this and come back two years later and dig it up, you know what's in here right off the bat. Uh, it says we got two six by eight tarps, a trash bag, a gallon Ziploc bag, a roll of duct tape, some rope, paracord, mason string, tent stakes, zip ties, carabiners. Uh, I do a survival blanket, an emergency blanket, and poncho. A little first aid kit in here. Uh, some wet fires for starting fires. <laughs> a little bit of hand sanitizer. Uh, a couple of extras in here too. Uh, we'll get to them when we get to them. Like I said, I did this for building a shelter, but also if you're bugging out, you know, I got to thinking, what would I want to dig up when I was in the bug out scenario? First thing in the top, you can see I got some uh, good heavy grade rope some nylon stuff this is 100 feet retrospect i might have should have went with a more camouflage in this if i was in a bug out scenario i might want to be a little more camouflage but i'm digging this up out of the forest in the middle of a zombie apocalypse 100 foot of red rope awesome what we got here uh picked up just the el cheapo walmart what's it a five liter stuff sack it's waterproof it's supposed to be submersible you know we're going to test it out eventually Let's see what's in here. Let's see. We'll use the lid. I'm gonna use the lid for dumping things on. I think that's off camera. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's everything in the bag. Uh, wet fire. I guess I just kind of blew a surprise when I read the list, huh? This a little blanket. Uh, this can be. These things can be used as a blanket, or you can put them on the interior ceiling of your shelter to reflect some more heat down. Maybe we'll do that to the bug out shelter. Stay tuned. Uh, just an emergency poncho. Shelter's not just what you're in, it's what you got on. I always count my clothing and whatnot under that category. Got another wet fire. Do a couple of little carabiners in there. You know, you don't go crazy with this, these things, but having a few on hand, I always find a use for them. I threw a little, uh, just a little cheese ball, excuse me, a little cheese ball first aid kit in there. Uh, come in handy, just, you know, not performing surgery with this, but it's not really what it's intended for. Uh, roll of Gorilla Tape. Do all sorts of stuff with that. Mm. Then my survival blanket. Never really tried this, but uh, just keep you warm. You can see it's silver sided on one side. It's pretty good size. Then it's got the blaze orange, getting help you get rescued. My thought was, scrummeted in the corners. 
This is going to be the carpet to the bug out shelter. Uh, got some hand sanitizer in there. Bunch of mason string, ton of tie wraps, ton of uses for them. Uh, got paracord. Let's see, we got black, blaze orange, olive drab. Sometimes you want to be seen, sometimes you don't. More mason string, tent stakes. All right, the extras. Threw 16 candles in there. It's just some cheapo candles from Walmart. Figure, you know, you build a shelter, you might want to light it up inside. Uh, this is wrapped in this sock. One of my favorite light sources. Uh, use them a lot when I hike and stuff. It's just a little glass globe. I wrapped it in an old sock. But, you know, you drop one of them candles in that little globe, disperses the heat as the wax melts, you know, it keeps the flames running everywhere. It adds to the efficiency of your candle. That'll give us a little light. Then I got to thinking, I broke that in my camp mirror, uh, replaced it. Y'all probably saw it on the on one of the uh, videos from camp. Hopefully y'all are watching everything. Uh, but I threw this one in there, uh, not only as a mirror, but this can be set in conjunction and give you a directional with those candles. Amplify your light source. Uh, there's a couple of 6 by 8 tarps in here. Yep. Trash bag and a Ziploc. Uh, there's all sort of stuff you can do with that, especially considering that I've already used what's in my bug out bag to, uh, to construct my shelter. If I use this stuff in the old survival cache that I've dug up, we're going to have a nice little shelter going on. So y'all stick with me. Y'all keep following the series. Uh, see what we do with the little bug out spot. We're going to have some fun with it. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to come back at you. Until then, y'all do me a favor. Y'all click the like, the share, the subscribe buttons. Y'all go down there and comment. Tell your buddies, tell your friends, tell your family. Creekwater Cody, I appreciate y'all watching. Until I catch you out on the trail, God bless you. Y'all be good.